to the Glasgow Rangers against Fulham. And I'm very excited to see see these teams, how they come out here. They've been in town for a couple of days now, training on the football club pitch. A um, bit of a waiting game to get started, but this is it now. So I saw Louis Belmorte, Fulham coach these days, told us in an interview that to be excited about these young players. So let's see if they can adapt to the conditions and sevens. Certainly he's had plenty of experience in this tournament before. Showed it again last night with a fantastic performance. So if these guys have learned off him, it could be one team to watch. Yeah, obviously your first appearance in the Masters at the Sevens, Robbie. How did you find the, uh, the standard? It, it, was, it was very good. Obviously, Bo Morte in his mid-40s is still incredibly fast, incredible shape, and just a fantastic footballer. Uh, and all of them played really well. So, yeah, it was, uh, it was a really tough match, and the standard's really high this year. into it for these professional teams not getting a chance against an amateur side to ease into the tournament it's a big game immediately always interesting to see the tactics of these sides obviously they had coaches had a bit of time to think about it but you can see some some different styles of play quite immediately sometimes with these pro teams some like to stretch it some like to have a bit more shape Keep it tight. I think a lot of it depends on the strengths and attributes of your centre forward. But both teams have given the ball away a couple of times in that first minute here, easing their way in. There we go. Well play from the number 10 of Fulham. Turn well, he's got a bit of pace. Flies past the Rangers defence. Crosses it in. Oh, great save from the Rangers goalkeeper there. Snapshot. Jacob has the cast in goal for our Rangers. Got down well to save that. First real chance of the game. Fulham looking powerful on the attack though. Yeah, number 10 there. Holding the ball, turning and running at Rangers. That's something they'll need to watch very closely. Rangers keeper coming out, sweeper keeper. It's like a tactic, but... It's a great tactic if you can use it. They have lost the ball though, Rangers. Inviting the pressure on. Immediately, we see both keepers wanting to bring the ball out. You know, theme in 11 aside football now as well. Everyone needing to be comfortable on the ball. Bit of pressure though from the Rangers number seven, Paul Nasio. Ball played from the Rangers centre half. Connor Allen playing it into Captain Christian Webster. Rangers keeping the ball nicely now to number seven, Paul Nasio. Almost all the players in the full and half as the Rangers keeper comes forward. Don't often see that, Robbie. And he gets caught on the ball though. He can finish. Not sure that's going in. Going to dribble wide. What a warning sign for Rangers as their keeper, Jacob Pazakas, comes up into the into the Fulham half and loses it. A 
It's a dangerous game they're playing. There's a lot of pace in this Fulham front line, so playing out from the back. Well, here we go. They've created the overload. Can you take advantage? Mackenzie Strachan out wide to the CEO. Steps over the ball in the box and plays it in. It's a good chance there for Rangers, but easily stopped by the Fulham keeper. Luke himself gets closed down, and that's the first goal. Paul Masio finishes under the keeper. Fantastic work from the Rangers there, Luke in the pocket of the Fulham goalkeeper. Here we've seen quite a few errors this game of keepers getting closed down and finally one's punished for it. It was a classic case, he's released the ball super quick while Rangers still have the territory and it's been closed down super fast. Yeah, here was that initial chance from Xander Hutton. A great closing down from the Rangers player then to have the composure to lay it back to the feet of Paul Nasia, who finished well. And it's Rangers one full of nil. Fulham not panicking though, bringing the ball forward. It's gone straight out there. Rangers now 1 0 up and take a bit more time over this. Rangers sitting a little bit deeper now, 1 0 up. Here Fulham keepers coming up, crossing the halfway line with the ball. A minute left in this first half. Just under. Fulham good getting into the Rangers box. Good turn in the box. Good defending though by goal scorer Paul Nasio. to break away here. Looks like it might have overhit it. Fulham keeper McNally gets there and that's an end to the first half. That's Good quality nine. affair. Fulham nil, Rangers won. A couple of mistakes from the keepers getting caught on the ball trying to play out but only one of those mistakes punished so far giving Glasgow Rangers the 1-0 lead. Yeah, it's interesting both keepers coming out of their boxes, coming very high with the ball. They're obviously compressing the space when they get that high, and with the pace of both teams forward, both have been caught out with that. Yeah, probably a, I'm expecting a theme we're going to see across the weekend of the keepers trying to come out, but it's a high-risk strategy there. It is. I always remember club legends, not here this year, but fantastic goalkeeper Freddie Toomer. He used to come out with the ball, but he used to give himself quite a bit of space and look to drive forward with it first, just to give himself a little bit of extra time to read the press. Yeah, definitely an art to it. And this half time quickly comes to an end. The team's taking the field again. You definitely don't want to lose your first game, do you, Robbie? It doesn't set, gives you a bit of pressure for the rest of the weekend, especially as the next two games in this group against Hong Kong Football Club and Hong Kong China could be tricky. Team, both teams who know the format well will be looking to pick up the scalp. Yeah.
Rangers immediately on the front foot as they start the second half. Fulham on the break. Well covered by Christian Webster, Rangers defender number five. Bit of Naus, keeping the ball on the pitch, slowing the play down. Rangers manager shouting out instructions. Keep the game in front of you, he's saying. So important, especially with the speed of these youngsters. Played out wide, Fulham with a bit of time in the box now. Well tackled though by Rangers in the box. Mark Gordon plays it into the box. Some good pressure building by Fulham. Number nine has a strike. Great save by the keeper and cleared brilliantly by the Rangers defender on the line. It's now ended up in the goal. The Rangers number five, Christian Webster, just did brilliant there, brilliantly there to keep that one out. And we're Very back brave. on immediately. Callum, Callum Osman, the Fulham number nine, with the strike, which was saved by the Rangers keeper. Fulham sniffing their opportunity now. It's a great turn. Brilliant turn by Aaron Lapula B from, from Fulham. Looks like that came up off the outside of the post, Robbie. Yeah, it's fantastic centre forward play. Quick turn, great strike. Just couldn't get his foot round it. Rangers, though, seem to have weathered that storm. They're going to try and keep the ball for a bit themselves, yeah. sitting on this 1-0 lead. That's it. At the minute, they've got 3v1 in their own half. They can just keep the ball. Yeah. The goal makes a big difference in this format of play means you can keep the ball a little bit. But Rangers get into the Fulham box. 1-2. It's good block though. Ar Rangers number nine, Archie Stevens had the chance there. But we go end to end now. And the Fulham striker holds it up in the box. By the Webster again. Well done, Webster. Connor Allen, number three for Rangers, has picked Fulham's pocket. Kept the ball calmly. The Rangers have done well here. Weathered that storm from Fulham when they get the ball composed on it. Did a bit of a wayward long ball, but seems to have brought down well by the Rangers number three. Finds Archie Stevens in the box. Oh, Ooh. they've done well. Oh. <laughs> Leighton Grant, number four from Rangers, not happy. He's free in the box. They just couldn't find him twice. Twice, yeah. Archie Stevens had the chance to play him in to start with. But now Fulham, they've let them get away. Rangers have let Fulham get away with that one. And the score remains 1 0. Yeah, those late runs from midfield that Leighton Grant did are so hard to mark. Classic sevens goals. It's a great play from number nine, Archie Stevens. go down into the last two minutes of this game. Fulham looking for an equaliser. Still patient play by Fulham, not panicking yet. A foul from Christian Webster. Fulham kick off quickly. Out to number four, Oliver Gofford. It's a very tight game.
Ali came forward with the ball. Rangers have hit this pocket. Connor McAvoy looking at his options. Goes back to the keeper, McNally. Plays into feet. Rangers do well to come away with it again. They might have a chance to break away here. Wow. Oh. Fulham in the box. It's a great block. And given away again to Fulham. Rangers their own worst enemy at the moment. But some great defending. Wins them the ball back. 45 seconds to go. So Fulham going to try and get this forward again, but Rangers can't seem to keep on to the hold of the ball at the moment. Fulham stretching the play now. It's too much on that one. And Rangers seem to have got away with that one. 20 seconds to go. Their goal kick. Urging their players forward. The referees ask them to get on with it. Full press from Fulham. It's long a long from ball Rangers. from the keeper. Ten seconds to go. Is that enough time for Fulham? They go long. Keeper McNally pumps it up. The strike is in. Brings it down. Oh, it's a great what a goal! Number eight, Callum McFarlane. Callum McFarlane with the last kick of the game. Long ball football. How well taken was that goal? Fantastic long ball from McNally. Chested down and then finished. With the ten block. seconds to go. And the next game, please McNally welcome to the pitch it. again in the main competition. McFarlane in the box. Group B, Brighton and Hove Albion versus Hong Kong Rangers. Callum McFarlane, the Fulham number eight, rescues a point for Fulham, and they'll be happy with that one. Very unselfish from Osman to chest that down beautifully. Oh, what a start! What a fantastic late goal from Fulham. 